There's the brother who was asking how um, uh, the brother was asking, sorry, what is the book Silsila to a Hadith of Sahiha and Silsila to a Hadith of Daifa? Those two books which a Sheikh Al Albani, Rahimahullah, um, he authored Silsila to a Hadith of Sahiha and Silsila to a Hadith of Daifa. What are these books? Um, these books, um, Sheikh Al Albani, Rahimahullah, uh, and Sheikh Al Albani, for those who don't know him, he's the greatest scholar of hadith in this era of ours. In this era of ours, the last hundred years, he is the greatest scholar of hadith to live on earth. And that is the testimony of um, the scholars of the world, not me. And Sheikh Al Albani, rahimahullah, he did a great job to the Muslim Ummah um, in terms of working uh, uh, on the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So after a long time, he graded, he graded the hadith of the four Sunan, the hadith of the four Sunan, Sunan Abu Dawood, uh, Sunan At-Tirmidhi, Sunan Al-Nasai, and Sunan Ibn Majah, which are four of the great six books of Muslims, what we have of our deen, you know, these are the, we call this the six mother books, the six important books. Bukhari and Muslim, which are all Sahih, they're all authentic, they don't need grading or verification. Uh, and then you have the four Sunan, Abu Dawood, At-Tirmidhi, An-Nasai, and Ibn Majah. Shaykh Al-Albani, Rahimahullah, he worked on all those four books and graded them. So he graded them, when you say grading, meaning he mentioned the grading of the hadith. Is this hadith Sahih, authentic? Uh, so it's really the words of the Prophet Sallallahu with actions, or is this hadith du'if, it is weak. We cannot say that these are words of the Prophet Sallallahu or that uh, this is the action of the Prophet Sallallahu The hadith which is verified, it is authenticated, and the hadith which is weakened, that these are not from the Prophet Sallallahu That is what we call grading. Shaykh Al-Albani Rahimahullah, he did that for all those four books. And that is a great thing to do. And that is a great thing to do. A great service to the Muslim Ummah. A great service to the Muslim Ummah. Actually, what we have up here is, that is Sahih and Du'if Sunan Abu Dawood. Sahih and Du'if Sunan Abu Dawood. Um, and that is the book, Sahih and Du'if Sunan Abu Dawood. This one here. That is the book the Sheikh he loved a lot. The Sheikh he loved a lot and that is the last book he read. The day he was dying, when he was on his bed, he told his son or his daughter, can't recall, bring me Sunan Abu Dawood. This is a great work the Shaykh he did, and he did not finish it, meaning the whole checking. This is the thorough checking. This is the thorough checking, the detailed investigation of the hadith. Of course, the grading of the hadith, all of them were done, but this was one which was more thorough and in detail. That is the book the Shaykh, um, he last read. Rahimahullah. So, coming to the question though, Silsila Ahadith al Sahiha is the book this great Imam, Shaykh Al Albani, Rahimahullah. He compiled, it was a hadith which he came across and so he graded those hadith. So he went through the chain of transmitters, what we call the Isnad of the hadith, and he verified that, you know, and he went into details. And he mentioned some of the fiqh of the hadith. He mentioned some of the fiqh of those hadith. So he compiled then all of these and he used to, they used to be released in volumes. So volume one will come out first and then another volume came out. That is how Silsila Hadith was Sahih. So authentic a hadith which he came across. He used to work on them and then they were compiled uh, and how he did the verification and some of the fiqh of that hadith and those were printed. So that is what the Silsila Ahadith al Sahiha, which means the collection of authentic Ahadith. And then he did Silsila Ahadith al Da'ifa also, which is the collection of the weak Ahadith, Da'if Hadith. And he did the same thing. He brought the Hadith, he investigated and explained his Takhrij. And that is what we call Takhrij in Hadith sciences. He mentioned where this Hadith comes from, all of, all of its uh, chains 
Why, where is its weakness? Like that. Where is its weakness like that? That is Silsila Hadithu al Du'aifa. These are two great books the Shaykh did. And anyone, anyone who wants to know the level of this Imam, of this great scholar, should just read those books. Anyone who wants to know the level of this great Imam should read those books if you can understand Arabic and understand the senses of Hadith. Then you will know that this man was from another planet, that there was no man who was close to him in terms of understanding the senses of Hadith. Understanding the senses of Hadith. And that is why Shaykh bin Baz, rahimahullah, the great scholar of this Ummah, when he was asked, did you say that Shaykh al-Albani was the mujaddid of this Ummah? You know, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa he said, Allah brings uh, ev in every generation someone who revives this deen, someone who brings up this deen. He was asked, did you say that that was Shaykh al-Albani? And Shaykh bin Baz said, no, I did not say that, but now I'm saying it. Now I'm saying it, that he is the reviver of this deen. Wallahu ta'ala a'lam. That is what Silsila Hadith al-Sahihah and Du'aifah is about.